Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Katie and welcome to my channel. Happy Nurses Week, everybody, to current nurses and even our future nurses. Let's get into today's video. What's in my nursing bag? I'm gonna be 100% honest, I have no idea what's in this bag. So we're gonna find out together what the heck I keep in here. You're probably expecting like some really cute aesthetic video. I'm here to tell you nothing about my job is aesthetic. I am an emergency room nurse. I have been for six months and it's been a learning curve. <laughs> I feel like I have things in this bag that I've never used before, but I'm still gonna show you everything that I have in here. We'll start with the outside of the bag and then I'll give you a tour of the inside of the bag and all the things in the bag. It's like, oh, she's so mysterious, but I promise you she really isn't. Anyway, this is my bag. She's super cute. I got it at Target, you guessed it. I love that it has these two little straps up here and also the two back here to carry it like a backpack. I know some people aren't a fan of a backpack style bag, but I personally love it. I carry a lot of tension <laughs> in my shoulders and in my neck and a one-sided bag, if it's too heavy, will cause my back or my shoulders and my neck to hurt. So this is perfect for me. It also has two pockets on the side to carry your water bottle. And there she goes. She fits perfectly on the side, on either side. I love the detailing of the pocket that it's not like a fixed type of stitching. It's very stretchy. It almost has the design of like stretchy pants. So that's pretty much it for the outside of the bag. And now I'll show you the inside of the bag. First of all, I always carry my lunchbox in my bag. I hate carrying a lot of things in my hands. And my lunchbox fits in here. It's empty right now, but my lunchbox fits perfectly inside of my bag on top of everything else. Then my pouch, which carries all of my little tools. It has a pocket for your stethoscope. I do not wear this around my neck, really. It tends to stay at the nurse's station, but I have it if I need it. On this side is where I carry the things I actually use. I always have my shears with me. These are so good and they were like really cheap. I bought these when I was in nursing school and they were probably like eight bucks and it came with a set of pen lights, but I don't use those pen lights anymore. I'll show you what I use now. You will use this, if, especially in the ER, you will use these. And it's so nice to have them because a lot of the time like people come up to you and doctors will be like, hey, do you have shears on you? Sure. You got it. You, know, you will always, always need a pen. I love these pens. I got them off of Amazon. I will try and link as much of this stuff as I can. So if you guys are interested in anything, you can buy it too. They come in a bunch of different colors and they're super cute, super great. I used to carry around a little notepad to write my report on. All throughout my preceptorship, I would bring in this little notepad and jot things down on here. But I feel like in nursing school, I had more time and now I just don't. Or I'm like flipping through these pages and I'm like, oh shit, where did I write that thing on? Like, so now I just use a blank sheet of copy paper and that's been so much easier and it takes up way less space in my pockets, which is another big reason that I stopped using this. This was the pen lights I used in nursing school. I don't use these anymore. These things are always turning themselves on and they don't even shine that bright anymore. I don't know if you can see that, like it's not the best unless you're like super close. So I don't really use this, but it's in here. And then some other things that I had from nursing school and I never cleaned out like this. I think it's called a caliper. I literally used this one time in nursing school because my teacher made us buy it to read EKG strips. You don't need this to read an EKG strip. That's everything that I keep in this little stethoscope pouch. I think it's great because it keeps everything all in one place and your shit's not flying everywhere in your bag. It's just a good way to stay organized. Okay, up next, back here is this little like secret pocket and this is where I keep my wallet. I can zip it away. I don't have a locker at my job and even if I did, they're really small and I don't think that my bag would fit in there. So I just put my stuff on top of the lockers and I've never had an issue with anybody at my job, knock on wood. I hope I never do, cause that's just 
honestly ridiculous. And then it's just one giant pocket in here. And I usually keep my Biggs jacket at the bottom because especially at night, if you work nights, you know. It gets so cold after a certain time. And I typically wear a long sleeve to work, like an under scrub. But for some reason, like 3, 4 a.m., I get so cold at work. So I always bring my jacket and I put it at the bottom of my bag. Then my stethoscope case goes on top of that. And then my lunchbox goes on top of that. Then on the other side of the bag are these two little pockets here, which are so good. I love these right here. I carry ibuprofen with me to work. You never know when you're gonna get a headache, when you're gonna get your period, when somebody else is gonna need something. So I carry this entire bottle with me. That might seem excessive, but I used to get migraines really bad in nursing school. And sometimes, I don't know, I just, I feel like I'm a little prone to headaches. So I like to be prepared because it would absolutely suck to be miserable with a migraine for 12 hours with no type of relief. Then on this side, I carry hand lotion. This stuff is so good. Before I started working in the hospital, I've never been somebody who like consistently used lotion on my hands. I've never experienced like painful, dry skin like I have after working in the ER. As soon as I put my bag down and start to unpack my stuff, I always put lotion on my hands to start off the shifts because you just gotta start off on a good note. Set yourself up for success. Then tampon, you know. And that is everything that I keep inside of the big pouch of my bag. And now we will go through the little pouch. We have lots of goodies in here. I love to keep mints in my bag. After I eat, you know, you wanna freshen up, not go and kill your patient after you just had lunch. And I also carry some mouthwash, have options. Then my own little hand sanitizer. I actually bought myself this as a treat because these are $10 each, which I think is really expensive, but they're so cute and this stuff works really great. I don't feel like it dries out my hands. A good chapstick. I really like Aquifer, but I switch out which lipsticks I use. I have Road Peptide in here too. Besides those, because I usually keep one in my pocket, those just happen to be like in this pouch, but I usually keep one like on me in my pocket. I walk into work with it and I love these little ones from Trader Joe's. They smell so good, they taste so good. So that's usually what I have on me and then those other ones are just backup and then this very smashed protein bar <laughs> extra pens i used to have extra pens in my stethoscope case but i lost two pens last week i don't even know how but i lost two of them so that's why i always keep extras and then just all these highlighters and things i honestly do not use this at work but for some reason i carry it in my bag and pencils i don't use pencils and then some additional things i know i showed you the pen light i don't use but this is my pen light that I actually use and it's perfect because it attaches onto my badge reel. And it's super small, so you just flip it on right here, just like so, and it's super strong. And it doesn't turn itself on, I just think it's so great. And then the Sharpie attached right to my badge reel, so it's all right here. I took off my work badge so you guys can't see, like this is just stuff that I use that is barcodes I need for work but my picture is actually not the ugliest ID picture I've ever had so I think that's kind of a flex I'm kind of proud of it on my badge reel I like to keep a roll of tape you never know when you're gonna need some tape so I always like to keep it on here and then this little pin one of my co-workers gave me it's a small little teddy bear and they're in the autism awareness colors like all different colors one of his kids has autism, so I gave it out to some of the coworkers and I got one. So that's everything that I keep in my nursing bag. If you were to buy anything from any of the things that I just showed you, the three things that I would recommend the most are the hand cream, good pens, and a pen light that attaches to your badge. 
And then also, I guess, four things, the shears. So that's going to be the end of today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching and found something useful, maybe a new item to put on your Amazon list this week. Who knows? If you guys have any recommendations for something you think maybe I should be keeping in my bag or something that would make my 12-hour shifts better or easier, feel free to share. I'm always open to suggestions and love hearing from you guys. So please, by all means, again, happy Nurses Week. I hope you guys had a great week and got some nice little treats from your job or your loved ones or people in your life who want to celebrate you and all you do for the people in your communities. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.